it's me again from the greenhouse and today i've got a task that feels like it should be simple but it's probably going to end up not being simple let me show you so this is the bed that's in the greenhouse and these big beautiful green plants are my japanese cucumbers and one tomato at the end there and my job for today is i want to build a semi-permanent as in gonna last more than one season trellis structure to support these cucumbers yeah support them as they grow up so here's a high-tech rendering uh autocad artist impression of what it might look like when it's finished so it feels like it should be very simple uh, so I've got four uprights, these each, I measured the back of the greenhouse and the back of the greenhouse is about 130 centimetres so I'll probably do like 1.2 for the uprights because I need to be able to swing a hammer to knock them in um, and then the width across is 2.2 metres so I might have to sort of jury rig with half and half rather than doing full length pieces because I don't know if I have any pieces of wood that are 2.2 across. So the first task today is selecting wood for the project and I'm trying to go for natural wood. I've got all this cherry left uh, from my neighbour trimming trees and cutting down their cherry tree. So I'm hoping I can find some bits in here that will make some pretty good uprights. You know, sort of 30, 40 mil across, these ones could be quite good. I'm just going to pull them out and have a look and then start processing them with the hatchet. These four here look like pretty strong candidates for uprights. Uh, so my next job is going to be to take a hatchet and try and trim the end into a point so that it's easier to knock into the soil. work a little bit more on that but it's looking pretty good four spikes ready to get smashed into the ground got my stakes got a rubber mallet this is the part where it could go really wrong and I could either smash the greenhouse or kill all of my plants so yeah they're in they're not in super far the soil here is really dry and compacted because I, and nothing's really been grown in it for like literal years but they are in i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to put some bricks around them at the bottom to provide some additional stability just as like a safety measure before I move on to putting the cross beams on. Still a little bit wobbly, but you know, nothing's perfect and I don't aim to be perfect. So it's fine. It's all fine. Right, time to get the cross pieces. For this, I've got my drill and my impact driver and I'm using 60 millimeter screws. Hopefully they're going to be long enough. Now I just have to get there and do it without uh, squishing my cucumber. No innuendo intended. So 
first one done and in the process I only drove a screw into my finger once so remember children hand placement is very important when you do these kind of jobs don't be holding it like this with your finger directly behind where the screw is going in or you will end up with a screw in your finger they're going to bring Dracula back. Hmm. Concept sketch versus finished product. I think it's pretty good. Got my cross braces, got my uprights. It's a little bit wobbly, but not too much. So I think it'll be okay. So now all I've got to do is encourage my cucumbers to latch onto it and grow upwards hopefully they'll do that and then i'll have my cucumbers off the ground and ready to flower they've already got the start of flowers forming very nice yeah really happy they're in what's that fucking haunted squeaky noise from the door there.